The Sandman has finally hit screens after nearly 30 years of development hell, and now the world has been gifted Tom Sturridge who plays the lead in this world of dreams, nightmares, and gods. But he didn't come out of anywhere. In fact, there's quite a lot of untold truth behind the Tony-nominated stage actor. Not only has he been best buds with Robert Pattinson since childhood, but he's also even dated stars like Sienna Miller. They were together from 2011 until 2015, and they even had their first child in 2012. Lucky dog. It makes sense that he would start a family with an actress because he comes from a family of performers and practitioners. His grandfather was Anthony Nichols, a Shakespearean stage actor who later had a 30-year career. His father, Charles, is a director who has also three decades under his belt, whereas his mother, Phoebe Nichols, is best known for her small role in the 1980 Oscar-nominated picture, The Elephant Man. Even his younger sister, Matilda, is working on TV projects. But Tom got his start as a child actor in his dad's 1996 adaptation of Gulliver's Travels. However, Tom views it more modestly, saying three weeks of work at eight years old does not an actor make. He swears his family and friends didn't help him land acting roles, which means it's his fault that he was almost cast in the panned 2008 movie Jumper. His role went to Anakin Skywalker's Hayden Christensen, so consider that a bullet dodged. Since then, he's worked as a jobbing actor and even starred alongside Jack Gyllenhaal on Broadway's Seawall A Life. We say alongside, but in fact, they never shared a stage. Well, until the final bow at the end. No doubt he missed that alone time when it came to auditioning for Netflix's adaptation of Neil Gaiman's graphic novel Masterpiece. Not only did he have to lose a lot of weight to create the body of the mythical Morpheus, the audition, which took place over Zoom due to the pandemic, was an hour and a half of philosophical prodding. He had to answer questions about his character, gods, and even the ambitions of the show. It was worth it though, because not long after the audition, he got a call to say he had the part. So now that Sandman is on TV, which has been your favorite part? Let us know in the comments. Leave a like if you want more content on untold truths, and be sure to hit subscribe to get our next video. Thanks for watching!